Hello everyone, I'm Tridu here on the Ethical Hacker Gopi Krishna YouTube channel. You can find me on Instagram with the username at the rate who is Tridu. We made this video in English to help people who struggle to set up and wanted to use Raspberry Pi remotely which is running on Kali Linux. Before installing X11 VNC, uh, what is VNC? VNC stands for Virtual Network Computing. It is a cross-platform screen sharing system that was created to remotely control another computer. And uh, X11 VNC here is a server program. Uh, this is kind of RDP remote desktop connection. Uh, we can con we can connect to any remote system, get access to a graphical user interface, uh, uh, something like that. And uh, you know, obviously, after installing Kali Linux, make sure you connect to your Wi-Fi, and later on, it will automatically connect to the same Wi-Fi if it is turned on. Let's get started with the terminal. Type sudo apt update. Enter your Kali Linux password and hit enter. It would take some time uh, if you are doing it for the first time. By the way, we have written an article, you can visit the blog, the domain name is ethicalhackergopikrishna.com and in the videos category, you will find the article. So in this article, you will get the commands and scripts which were used in this video. The link will be in the description box. So back to terminal, type sudo apt, install x vnc space hyphen y. So this will install the Xlone VNC on your Kali Linux. After Xlone VNC is installed, you can start its service by just typing VNC server. And you need an application called VNC Viewer. Either it, you can use it on your mobile device like Android, iOS. It is available everywhere. And uh, at, the, at the first time when you use this VNC server command, you need to create a password for your VNC server, which is used to connect to the Kali Linux while using uh, while, while trying to connect from your VNC viewer, okay. So verify the password again, and uh, so that's how you can uh, create a password and uh, and uh, get started with the uh, VNC server. Here you can see Kali colon one. So Kali refers to a username, then display number one and the port number five nine zero one. Next, uh, to view your network ip address like uh, you can open another terminal or tab and type if config uh, in in this you will find uh, wlan0 ip address so this is the inet ip address and uh, use this ip address and uh, port number as one at the beginning at the first time and try connecting you will face a screen issue so that is gray screen issue before solving this issue we will know like why we have got this issue as the screen resolution is not configured we will get this kind of issue so in the terminal type of vnc server space iphone geometry space 1980 into 1080 so the command will be available in the article you don't need to worry about it uh, if you are not able to understand this or not able to uh, view the screen properly and uh, next you will see that the port number is changed to number two so before it was one and now it was two so if you try connecting still you will face the same issue like you need to again do some further steps uh, for this to resolve this thing and uh, type sudo space nano so the command is here you can copy and uh, paste it on your terminal so this will open uh, X startup file and uh, now make sure you comment every line with the hash symbol at the beginning of each and every line as shown in the video and uh, as well as the screenshots are uploaded in the article too and uh, so comment like this use the hash symbol at the beginning of each and every line and the next uh, you will get the script uh, in the article so this is the script uh, like uh, you need to copy the script and uh, paste it on your X startup file and uh, for that uh, you use control shift plus uh, B or right click up. okay then uh, press control plus O to save and uh, use control plus X to exit now reboot the Kali Linux either manually or using command uh, like sudo reboot so that's how you can reboot your Kali Linux either manually or uh, from, from the terminal then uh, after rebooting your Kali Linux you can use the VNC server command to start the VNC server so that you can able to connect your Kali Linux I mean your Raspberry Pi without any screen issues but uh, you know some of us feel happy if it was automatically starts and connects 
VNC server on every boot of your Raspberry Pi, which is running on Kali Linux. Okay, so now we can get this thing resolved. So we need to use a script that will basically start the VNC server automatically whenever you turn on your Raspberry Pi machine. So for that, uh, we need to we need to uh, use another thing. Here you'll find that sudo space nano slash etc slash init dot d slash vnc server so and uh, you need to open this like you will get the screen like this and in the nano editor and now add this lines uh, uh just copy the code from the article and uh, paste it to here and uh, you'll you will end with the uh, exit zero okay so these are the lines you need to add into the vnc server file and then next uh uh, you need to save this with a uh, control plus O to write out and use control plus X to exit and then uh, uh, Now you need to give the permission to the file. So the command is also available. Everything is available in the article and uh, VNC server it can be executable and next uh, to auto start the vnc server type sudo update iphone dot rc d space vnc server space defaults okay now reboot the raspberry pi to check whether our startup script is working or not you can view the vnc server status as active if it is working with the with this command like uh, sudo service vnc server status so after rebooting your raspberry pi no need to start the vnc server like the typing vnc server just use the sudo service vnc server status so obviously you need to find it as active because we are using a script that will basically auto start uh, the vnc server on your boot okay so you can see that uh, the status as active here so that means our automation script uh, is working properly and uh, if you do the above steps properly it should show as active then uh, now you can able to auto start the vng uh, server after logging into your kali linux but to enter into kali linux you need to give the login credentials on the kali linux screen so if you want to uh, enter the login credentials you must need a monitor so for that uh, you can't make a proper rdp connection uh, from your android device or ios uh, as as you don't have monitor so as at that moment like you don't have any other ch choices uh, to get out of this so for that you need a monitor for the first time like when you're doing all this just connect your wi-fi uh, like uh, the network which you have which you are going to use in the future just connect the wi-fi the uh, same wi-fi and uh, it will be connected automatically in the next boot like uh, it will be uh, auto connected okay so that's how you can connect to our network automatically and uh, so you know that to start the vnc uh, server automatically you need to bypass the login screen or you need to auto login your kali linux okay so we will do that uh, steps uh, which will help you to auto login your kali linux and uh, you don't need any monitors to log in into kali linux whenever you power on raspberry pi you will automatically enter into the kali linux without giving any login credentials in the terminal type sudo space r a s p i iphone C O N F I G Raspi iPhone config. So in this select uh, basically third option, boot options and press enter key. The next select uh, 01 desktop or CLI and press enter. Next uh, select the B4 desktop auto login desktop GUI automatically logged in as a user of your choice and press enter. So then press enter key and uh, next uh, type your password and uh, and hit enter and next. Uh, you'll you'll see finish button so select that option and uh, it will ask like would you like to reboot now so you need to select yes option and uh, press enter key so this will basically reboot your machine that's all now time to relax we have done installing xlon vnc server to resolve the screen issue automatically started the vnc server on the boot and enabled auto login on Kali linux in raspberry p here I'm using the VNC Viewer application on my iPhone. This application is available for both Android, iOS as well as Windows and Unix. After installing the VNC Viewer, you'll get this UI. In the top right -hand corner, you'll find a plus button. Here you can save your VNC server details and connect to your saved sessions anytime. You need to enter your WLAN 0 IP address of your Kali Linux. You'll get the IP address from your Kali Linux using ifconfig command. 
at the end of your address you use colon and type 1 in the name field give a name to your session i'm giving kali linux here then click on the save button now click on the connect button then it says it is connecting to your raspberry pi now i will cancel this as i'm using mobile data to demonstrate that it won't work on mobile data now i will switch to wi-fi as your client device and external vnc server which is on raspberry pi should be in the same network then only it will be connected now it will ask you to enter the password uh, well when you click the connect button now enter the password of your vnc server which you have created earlier while installing then click on continue button You can rotate your device to see the screen in the landscape. You can now get control over your Raspberry Pi with your mobile device. Thanks for getting to the end of this video. I am Tridev. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what I am doing, hit the like button and comment to help the YouTube algorithm. And that's pretty much it. It's bye for now.